I think it's I think it's our best product. I think it's the most unique thing on the road. And finally, the future will look like the future. The Cybertruck delivery event has just concluded, and those were all the impressive highlights that we've discussed about this polarizing vehicle. With an impressive range of up to 470 miles as officially announced on the Tesla website, and the latest variant Cyberbeast provides a power output of up to 845 horsepower. All of this starts at an impressive price of $49,890. It's a game changer for the electric pickup truck market, where the Cybertruck confidently showcases innovative design and features. The electric pickup race is over, and the outcome seems clear. What impressive items did Tesla reveal on Cybertruck Delivery Day? Let's find out in today's episode. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Without further ado, let's get started. How much does the Cybertruck cost, and does it fit your budget? Elon Musk officially announced that the first three versions will be delivered to customers in the near future. And importantly, the delivery timing will depend on the pre-order position for the specific order you own. The first version, featuring a rear-wheel drive Cybertruck, is expected to be the most affordable model, priced at $60,990. However, for this variant, it appears that deliveries will commence in 2025, as the specifications of the two subsequent variants become clear. Next is the four-wheel drive variant of the Cybertruck with dual motors, priced at $79,990. Finally, the Tesla Cybertruck with three motors and the groundbreaking beast mode feature is priced at $99,990. All these prices seem to be significantly influenced by the high inflation rate over the past four years. According to estimates, the average inflation rate for pickups in the United States from 2019 to 2023 is around 28%. For instance, the typical Ford F-150, which Tesla is believed to use as a pricing benchmark for the Cybertruck, has increased from $49,700 at the time Elon Musk announced the Cybertruck's mid-range pricing to the current $60,400. Additionally, the rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive variants of the Cybertruck receive a $7,500 tax incentive for having a price under $80,000, along with fuel cost savings of up to $3,600. This results in reduced prices of $49,890 and $68,890, respectively, for these two versions. In fact, you could potentially own a dual-motor Cybertruck as early as 2024. How did the great features we hope for in this Cybertruck appear? At the delivery event, Elon Musk announced the Cyberbeast Mode, also known as Beast Mode for Cybertruck. It featured a rear-wheel drive system with dual motors and a front differential lock, generating an impressive power of up to 845 horsepower. Additionally, the front drivetrain is equipped with an independent electric differential lock, producing 300 horsepower. As anticipated, this Cybertruck has the ability to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.6 seconds, showcasing its remarkable performance. In a drag race, it even outperformed the Porsche 911 literally as it carried another 911. You know this sports car weighs 3,042 pounds. Cybertruck's ability to outpace the Porsche was iconic. Furthermore, steer-by-wire is a feature that we've all been hoping to see on the Cybertruck, and now it's become a reality. The steering system will give you a sensation akin to piloting an aircraft thanks to its precise control and the ability to make sudden accelerations. Additionally, the official crash testing process has been unveiled, bringing a surprise as Tesla conducted a full frontal collision at a speed of 35 miles per hour and a side impact at a speed of 38 miles an hour. Following these tests, including an evaluation of rollover resistance, the Cybertruck appeared to remain robust and stable in the face of all these impacts. What makes Cybertruck's operating range more impressive? The Cybertruck will be manufactured at Giga Texas and will utilize the 4680 battery cells and structural battery packs architecture similar to the Model Y. To achieve a range standard of over 340 miles and a potential range of up to 470 miles, it truly stands out as an impressive electric pickup truck. 
However, before making a decision to purchase it, let's take a look at how the future charging infrastructure for Elon Musk's electric pickup trucks will unfold. Tesla is rapidly deploying the Supercharger V4 network across the United States. After its debut in Europe earlier this year, the V4 charging stations are becoming increasingly available in various states. They've been spotted in Oregon, Nevada, Alabama, and Georgia, with an estimated number exceeding 2,000 charging stations. Previously, we witnessed the improved design of the V4 supercharger stations. They come equipped with the Integrated Magic Dock, or CCS1 adapter. This charging system has the capability to replenish 136 miles in just 15 minutes, explaining the extended range that Tesla has announced in specifications. The V4 charging network will facilitate the Cybertruck in reaching an 80% charge in approximately 30 to 35 minutes during a rest stop. What you need to do after the Cybertruck is delivered. All right, we're sure the first thing that you want to do with your new Cybertruck delivered to your garage is to take it on challenging roads and test its off-road capabilities. Maybe even do some other crazier things that we haven't thought of. You can share your ideas about what you want to do with the vehicle first in the comments. However, checking off the list is actually the first and necessary step when you have the possibility of receiving a massive order of a Cybertruck from a delivery person. The first category you need to pay attention to, which is also something most of us need to consider, is the gaps on the dashboard. Check if there are any issues with fit and finish. You might easily overlook any imperfections or just dismiss them with excitement. But small issues may still appear here, and Tesla will certainly address any existing problems. The important thing is to point them out on the delivery day so that Tesla knows it's a manufacturing issue rather than the usual wear and tear over a long period after delivery. We don't want your Cybertruck to look like test versions with significant deviations in the steel panels. Moreover, fortunately, these stainless steel panels don't require any additional protective film like PPF. In all previous models, we always had concerns about the vehicle's paint over time. Next is the impressive air suspension system, which will make it easier for you to conquer challenging terrains. When the driver opens the Cybertruck door, then sits in the driver's seat and starts the Cybertruck, the entire suspension system begins to raise from low to medium ride height. So you need to check the seamless mode transitions to ensure that the Cybertruck doesn't encounter any glitches. Any issues reported to Tesla may arise within 72 hours or 100 miles, depending on whichever condition comes first. But Tesla will be lenient in addressing them immediately after delivery. However, it's best to detect any discrepancies or issues early to ensure they'll be rectified. Of course, activate the Cyber Owl feature immediately. And it's great that this feature can be displayed on the infotainment system screen when Sentry Mode is activated. It's a unique factor that adds an extra touch of personalization to the already outstanding interior experience of the Cybertruck. It's delightful to see Tesla adding a cup mode for those who want to leave their pets in the Cybertrucks and don't want others attempting to throw metal balls at the Cybertruck's windows to test the bullet-resistance glass that Elon Musk once proclaimed. When will Cybertruck be widely available? Tesla is facing significant challenges in scaling up Cybertruck production. Musk told investors during an earnings call in October, Tesla may ultimately overcome what CEO Elon Musk described as substantial challenges in mass-producing the Cybertruck without burning through cash, and eventually the Cybertruck is delivered. However, Musk himself estimated that it would take between 12 to 18 months to complete the job. Furthermore, Tesla is unlikely to achieve an annual production rate of 250,000 Cybertrucks until around 2025. Do you remember an analyst who went even further by suggesting that the company should scrap the vehicle, saying that it could be beneficial for Tesla stock? Not at all. Just within one day of the delivery date announcement, the Cybertruck's hype caused the stock value to surge from $235 to $252. You can imagine how, in a few days, the presence of this electric pickup truck in the city will contribute to Tesla's success. There are very few visionaries in the world. Even fewer are those who are honest and open-minded about the prospects of their own exciting projects. Musk has his own class, and the world is truly fortunate to have him. Even in failure, 
he'll learn something to apply to the next product. What information did you receive from the delivery event? Recently, Tesla has officially announced the detailed schedule for the release of the Cybertruck, which will take place at 2 p.m. Central Time, although there is no information yet about the live broadcast time. However, we hope to witness this memorable moment most impressively through X. The initial price of the Cybertruck at the first launch event may not be the same as the Cybertruck at the upcoming delivery event, a gap of four years. If we take into account the inflation cost increase of about 20%, the single motor Cybertruck will be priced at $47,990. The dual motor version will cost you $59,990. And finally, the three motor version will be $83,990. However, we truly believe that the price of the three motor Cybertruck will decrease quite close to these figures and Tesla will raise it to the $79,990 to qualify for the $7,500 tax credit in the United States. An update from the Tesla CEO has surprised some electric vehicle enthusiasts on social media, especially considering that Tesla usually organizes the first vehicle delivery events in the United States at night. Tesla had organized a first delivery event for customers in the afternoon at Giga Shanghai for the Model 3. But that was in China, not in the United States. In the United States, models like the Model Y and Model 3 were first delivered at night. The interesting thing is that organizing the first delivery event for the Cybertruck in the afternoon means that electric vehicle enthusiasts will have the opportunity to participate and witness the appearance of the Cybertruck early on. Fans from European countries will be able to watch this event around 8 p.m. local time. However, in countries like Australia, a significant market for pickup trucks, the first Cybertruck delivery event will start very early at 6 a.m. following the local time. Based on our observations and interest in the Cybertruck, we have discovered that more than 25 Tesla Cybertrucks have appeared at Gigafactory Texas, where the event will take place. This is not counting the dozen or so Cybertrucks that have been transported to Tesla stores across North America in the past two weeks. This gives us a visual insight into the number of vehicles that will be delivered on the release day. With most of them featuring the RC label, some with graffiti covered shells and the rest believed to be production models. Therefore, we will witness an evolution in the Cybertruck's finishing through a comparison of these versions. A recent reveal of a Cybertruck variant showed a real-world range of 266.6 miles on a 16-mile-long trip, causing the battery to drop from 71% to 65%. However, it is important to note that this is often not the EPA range, the figure Tesla would list for the vehicle. EPA is a rarely achieved number in the real world. To achieve this operating range, the Cybertruck will have a 123 kilowatt hour battery confirmed by the showroom manager in San Diego. The 266 mile figure suggests that Tesla is targeting an EPA range of around 300 miles for the all electric pickup truck currently on display. Elon Musk initially announced that there would be three variants of the Cybertruck. He then continued to mention a four-motor variant capable of crab-like steering. However, we don't expect to see a four-motor Cybertruck because previous findings only indicate the Cybertruck's ability to execute impressive four-wheel steering maneuvers. Elon Musk stated that there would be a beast mode variant of the Cybertruck capable of accelerating from zero to 60 miles per hour in under three seconds. Considering the weight of the Cybertruck is around 7,000 pounds, this would be a technical feat. Lower variants of the Cybertruck are expected to be slower in acceleration, with around 4.5 seconds for the dual motor variant and approximately 6.5 for the single motor variant in terms of performance. What will the Tesla Cybertruck do when you drive it? You might not realize it, but the Cybertruck and other Tesla models have a massive technical brain at work when you use the navigation feature. This brain simultaneously performs more than 15 different calculations to compute the travel range 
and ensure that you have the most efficient, smooth, and safe journey possible. Your Cybertruck will calculate the amount of battery you have and the battery you will use during the trip, as well as when you reach your destination. This may seem like a simple calculation, where they take just the number of miles and assign a certain number of miles for each percentage of the battery, but it's much more complex than you might think. The Cybertruck will calculate the speed and wind direction as you drive and update this information throughout your journey. It seems the calculations will accurately account for the impact it will have. Tesla not only tests its vehicles in harsh desert conditions and extreme heat, but also conducts tests in winter conditions with snow and the coldest temperatures possible. Moreover, people tend to want to take their Cybertrucks out and see how they perform in snow, ice, and extreme heat. This compels Tesla to push the limits of its vehicle before customers do so themselves. It would be a bad situation if customers had to conduct tests and receive results that didn't meet expectations. The Cybertruck is known for its adaptive air suspension system, and recently, it demonstrated impressive ground clearance control as the driver initiated the vehicle. Previously, we've also seen the Cybertruck complete tests like driving on snow, muddy terrain, and rough landscapes, leaving us with no doubt about what the Cybertruck is capable of. The Cybertruck can calculate traffic speed to assess how it will affect your journey to your destination. Additionally, the faster you travel, the more battery usage you'll incur. All this analytical information will be displayed on the central screen, and you can control it. Yes, reducing speed while driving can also feed excess energy back into the battery, in which case regenerative braking will perform the task of recovering kinetic energy when decelerating or going downhill. The traditional braking system on cars involves brake pads clamping onto the wheels to slow the vehicle down. When you're not braking in a gas-powered car, your car tends to coast forward with minimal resistance, except for air resistance or tire friction on the road. However, there are some issues with this braking system, as the brake system wears out over time, and the energy used to slow down the wheels is wasted as heat dissipated into the air. The Cybertruck will utilize regenerative braking, even though it has a standard braking system on the vehicle, as a precaution in case you can't use regenerative braking to decelerate. When you brake in an electric vehicle, or you release the accelerator and drive downhill, the process of capturing energy from the battery to transmit to the motor and turning the wheels forward will occur in reverse, charging the battery. This extends your vehicle's range, and the EPA range in electric vehicles includes regenerative braking. Most of these calculations work and provide the driver with an overview before starting the journey and during the travel. How has Tesla differentiated their product line from the competition? Tesla seems to be introducing a front camera wash button and several other features with the next software update, as revealed by Green the Only in version 2023.44.1. You're already aware that the Cybertruck is equipped with a front bumper camera, and there have been concerns about the potential accumulation of dust and mud on this camera while driving impacting both Tesla vision and the driver's visibility when observing through the central screen. Everything becomes exceptionally impressive when you can press the camera wash button on the screen and everything works smoothly without the need to step out of the vehicle to do so. Another innovation that has been long discussed is the small 48-volt electrical architecture on Tesla's new product lines, especially the Cybertruck. Although the 48-volt system has been partially used in light hybrid vehicles for several years in high-demand areas, the shift of the Cybertruck from the traditional 12-volt system is a significant step for the automotive industry. In the traditional 12-volt system, the wiring system and components need to be larger and heavier to handle high electrical loads. However, the 48-volt battery system can efficiently handle high loads helping reduce the size and weight of the wiring system, especially for low-draw components. This means better vehicle performance, handling, and manufacturing efficiency. While other electric pickup models like Ford's F-150 Lightning and GM's Hummer EV are using small 12-volt batteries, implementing this technology in the Cybertruck brings several advantages. 
The 48-volt system allows for more efficient power delivery and handling of higher electrical loads with smaller cable systems, resulting in overall lower weight and increased efficiency. Manufacturers have been slow to fully adopt the 48-volt technology as they rely on third-party suppliers who may not be equipped to manage the rapid transition to the new system voltage. As more automakers recognize the benefits of the small battery 48 volt, they will be compelled to invest in the technology and necessary infrastructure to implement the conversion. Failure to do so could lead to market share loss and decreased profits. Due to the vertical integration, manufacturing capabilities, and corporate structure of Tesla, they have unprecedented flexibility to design and produce integrated components in-house allowing for a rapid transition to the new 48-volt battery. Moreover, Tesla's decision to use this small battery gives them a significant advantage when it comes to accessories and additional features for the Cybertruck. They have a dedicated secret accessories team specializing in developing products specifically for the 48-volt architecture, such as lighting, winches, and air compressors. These products are designed to seamlessly integrate with the Cybertruck system, providing customers with a variety of high-quality accessories tailored to the vehicle's capabilities. With this approach, Tesla aims not only to deliver superior products to customers, but also to generate new revenue sources and strengthen its brand image as a leading innovator and designer. Why will Cybertruck be a huge success for Tesla? In 2019, Tesla was in a happy position as it became the leading company in terms of large volume and high prices in the global electric vehicle market. The delivery of 367,500 vehicles reflected a growth of 50% compared to 2018. This figure includes 92,550 units of Model 3 and 19,450 larger Model S and X in the fourth quarter, indicating strong future growth and generating an annual revenue of $24.5 billion. In the same year, Tesla announced the Cybertruck. The new vehicle with its futuristic appearance represented the company's first step into the pickup truck market. Although the initial delivery plan was scheduled for 2021, the Cybertruck faced delays due to factors such as weight, making it challenging to achieve the desired range with the appropriate battery usage. Therefore, we'll have the opportunity to witness the final delivery date starting on November 30th, meaning that 2024 will be the first full production year for the Cybertruck. Tesla is simultaneously navigating a challenging transition. Formerly a groundbreaking company rewriting the rules, it's now a contemporary company trying to protect sales volume and profit margins. The dynamic growth strategy saw a new gigafactory in Shanghai start operations in early 2020, along with two other factories near Berlin, Germany and Austin, Texas, both commencing operations in 2022. In 2023, Tesla anticipates selling a total of 1.8 million vehicles, nearly doubling the sales figures of 2021. However, things can change rapidly in this industry, and Tesla must face various challenges in its three main markets, China, Europe, and the United States. And the big question is whether Cybertruck can solve them. In Europe, Tesla reduced prices in 2023 while maintaining a balance between quantity and insurance fees. This poses a significant challenge for any ascending manufacturer, as increasing production can reduce costs, but erode exclusivity, potentially leading to a loss of the ability to maintain high prices. As of July 2023, Tesla held about 60% of the electric vehicle market share in the United States, a substantial figure both in terms of quantity and compared to other premium competitors. However, the introduction of the Cybertruck may not generate additional growth in Europe. Pickup trucks are considered a secondary product there and may not be suitable for many European cities. The introduction of the Cybertruck to the market is expected to create a halo effect for the Tesla brand. 
similar to what happened with the launch of the Model Y. Recall the surge in Tesla stock prices in 2020 increasing sevenfold as people were excited about the Model Y. The volume increased from a 36% growth rate in 2020 to 86% in 2021. The Model 3 was introduced in 2017 and the Model Y was introduced in 2020. Investors at the time of the Model Y launch were concerned that it would cannibalize sales of the Model 3. However, this did not happen. Tesla sold more Model 3 vehicles in the US in 2022 than in 2020, while also selling around 250,000 Model Ys. The total sales volume of Tesla in the US in 2022 was over 150% higher than in 2020. And both the Y and 3 were successful products. With one month left in late 2023, the Cybertruck's halo effect may not impact sales figures, but surpassing sales estimates in 2024 could convince investors that the Cybertruck is a compelling idea. The pickup truck segment in the US plays a crucial role in Tesla's efforts to maintain a premium brand position by expanding its product portfolio. However, pickup trucks are also a significant profit source for the big three U.S. automakers, Ford, GM, and Stellantis. Tesla has received over 2 million pre-orders for the Cybertruck, with a waiting list extending for five years. However, the vehicle will test whether the company can balance quantity with high prices. Currently, there will be two models, as the lowest-spec single-motor variant seems to be no longer available. The premium three-motor Cybertruck may be priced below $80,000. Some improvements in both models, such as the stainless steel body panel, seem more like marketing exaggeration than technical logic. The polarizing design may not appeal to the conservative traditional segment. Statements about impressive performance with the ability to tow 14,000 pounds are noteworthy. Moreover, when the Cybertruck was unveiled in 2019, Tesla's stock was around $23 per share. It entered this week with a price of over $236 a share. When Tesla introduced the Cybertruck in November 2019, the stock initially dropped by 6.1% as investors absorbed the design. It took about a week for the stock to recover to pre-Cybertruck levels. It's easy to predict that the arrival of the Cybertruck will be a significant success for Tesla. What did you prepare before attending the Cybertruck delivery event? The unfolding event amid the day's buzz defies the anticipated evening spectacle. 2 p.m. in Texas sets the stage for ideal vehicle deliveries, with the live stream directly airing on X. While we aspire for a YouTube broadcast for superior quality or playback, the odds seem slim, as even SpaceX has ceased streaming on the platform. The deliberate choice of X for the livestream likely stems from Tesla's bid to elevate engagement on Musk's platform. Notably, a showroom manager publicly unveiled the Cybertruck's battery pack capacity, marking it at 123 kilowatt hours. With the revelation of the Cybertruck's battery pack capacity, what implications might this have on its overall range? The Cybertruck's battery capacity, recently disclosed at 123 kilowatt hours by a Tesla showroom manager appears to fall short in comparison to its rivals, such as the Ford F-150 Lightning and Rivian R1T. This capacity estimation hints at a range of around 267 miles on a full charge as per previous leaks. Contrasting this with Rivian's offerings, the R1T boasts two battery pack sizes, a 135 kilowatt hour large pack and a 180 80 kilowatt hour max pack, showcasing substantial ranges of 352 miles and 410 miles EPA, respectively. However, an intriguing hypothesis arises concerning Cybertruck's battery technology. There's speculation about the use of Tesla's innovative 4680 battery cells, familiar from the Model Y RWD's configuration. If the Cybertruck does incorporate these cells, 
Cells, a theoretical approach involves combining two sets of the Model Y SUV's battery packs. Such an amalgamation could potentially yield a 4680 battery pack approximately amounting to 123 kilowatt hours, operating within an estimated voltage range of around 800 volts. This potential configuration might contribute significantly to the Cybertruck's power capacity and overall performance. Amidst the thunderous race in the realm of electric pickups, a pressing inquiry echoes through the corridors of anticipation. How will the Cybertruck fare against its rivals, its range purportedly falling shy of the illustrious 300-mile mark? In the labyrinth of the Cybertruck's range mystery, an intriguing clue emerges, a sequence of figures and indicators hinting at its potential prowess. Venture into the archives of its digital compass, and there, a 16-mile trail emerges, subtly narrating the story of a 6% battery consumption. Such minute details illuminate a path, suggesting that at its peak, this enigmatic vehicle could traverse a path of 267 miles on a full charge. Yet the saga of the Cybertruck's range remains cloaked in speculation, the arcane tale of 267 miles etched into its interface is a mere whisper, a singular route in the vast expanse of potential mileage. An intricate dance unfolds between its 800-volt architecture, honed aerodynamics boasting a drag coefficient of 0.39, and the enigmatic 123-kilowatt-hour battery pack. Whispers echo of a potential to breach the revered 300-mile threshold, but empirical evidence remains remains elusive. As our investigation delves deeper, a revelation surfaces, the narrative of a showroom, a theater of Cybertrucks predominantly clad in the mantle of dual motor variants. The intricate decoding of its VIN, or VIN document, a symphony of alphanumeric characters, reveals a tantalizing truth. The Cybertruck paraded at the showroom, bearing the emblem D in the 8th position, stands testament to its dual motor lineage. A range nearing the 300 mile mark, a plausible compass for this iteration, a fitting contender in this electric odyssey. The tantalizing question remains, what of the tri-motor uttered to transcend the elusive 400 mile boundary? The veil shrouding its prowess persists, veiled in secrecy until the grand unveiling. Even the intrepid endeavors of YouTuber Tailosive to unravel this enigma were met with silence, the manager guarding the mysteries of price and range. In the luminescent glow of anticipation, the Cybertruck's true range puzzle awaits resolution, a saga destined to unfold as the delivery event unfolds its veils, revealing the final chapters of this electric fable. But within the enigmatic web of Cybertruck's anticipated price, whispers circulate of a definitive decree, its cost destined to bow beneath the formidable threshold of $80,000. The pricing of the Cybertruck is a pivotal factor in determining whether customers and audiences are willing to further explore related specifications. Even if a truck offers impressive features, if it strains the customer's budget, the likelihood of creating an impact is undoubtedly low. Recently, there was an error in the reservation price as it changed to $250. But, unfortunately, it was quickly corrected to $100 thereafter. Dan Ives of Wetbush said in a note to investors that updated pricing is one of the key details that will need to be announced during the event. And it seems like a virtual certainty that Tesla will finally shed information on that. We believe updated pricing will come out at Thursday's event on each of the trim levels at the company's scales, as the company scales the Cybertruck production story to give more clarity to the street. Whisper numbers for the single motor are in the approximately $50,000 range, with prices for the dual and tri-motor variants likely to be in the $60,000 to $80,000 range. Cybertruck's elusive price finds itself tethered to a network of compelling reasons, a constellation of factors that spiral into the ethos of pragmatic considerations. Many customers may find it difficult to believe that the initial price points of $39,000, $49,000, or even $69,000 are now a thing of the past. 
These figures seemed to serve as a strategic lure for the EV community, capturing their attention towards this remarkable pickup. The overwhelming consensus points to a substantial increase, likely around 90%. This speculation on the price hike, derived from various surveys and audience opinions, centers primarily on the tri-motor version. The quandary remains about what would constitute a reasonable increase from the original price. Some suggest a modest 14.5% increase, projecting a figure of $79,000, while others contend for a steeper rise to $85,000 marking a bold 23% escalation. However, considering these numbers, we lean towards an estimated price of 79000 It's anticipated that Elon Musk might unveil this during the truck's release date for a couple of significant reasons. Musk himself acknowledged on X that the F-150 Lightning is a commendable vehicle, but slightly overpriced. Why would the CEO of Tesla mirror this with his pickup? The comparison could draw criticism if it were to exceed the competitor's vehicle in price. The Lightning's top-tier variant, the Platinum Edition, stands at a lofty $91,995, albeit as a limited edition with only 2,000 units. A more relatable relatable variant, the Lightning Lariat, hits $77,495, aligning quite well with a plausible Cybertruck price. However, it's crucial to highlight the Cybertruck's technological superiority, especially in its tri-motor configuration compared to the F-150's dual motor. Hence, a price hovering around $79,000 appears justifiable, considering the Cybertruck's enhanced technology and higher production costs for three motors. The anticipated price for the dual-motor Cybertruck stands at an estimated $59,990. The second reason revolves around the competitive landscape in the segment. While the F-150 Lightning, Hummer, and Rivian R1T secure their positions as top choices, the Cybertruck has attracted a mixed bag of opinions. Any misstep in pricing might trigger a cascade of controversy beyond its design. Despite over 2 million pre-orders, customers could retract upon significant price hikes. Hence, there's hope for a reasonable price. We fervently hope for a more grounded price, hovering around $70,000. The challenges of manufacturing a pickup at this stage are profound. The cost dynamics may improve significantly once Musk hits the target of producing 250,000 units per year. Moreover, what are the most recently revealed features, interior, and exterior of the Cybertruck? Steering away from the maze of specifics, a glimpse into the Cybertruck's recent revelations unravels a marvel. The suspension system, headlights, and rearview mirrors are the focal points of this captivating tale. Picture this. The Cybertruck, with its awe-inspiring suspension system, adjusts its stature with a fluidity that mesmerizes. It effortlessly fluctuates from low to medium heights, with whispers hinting at an even grander peak yet to be unveiled. At 70 and a half inches in its medium setting, this vehicle stands tall. It doesn't stop there. It surpasses these limits, gliding through terrains and conquering parking garage complexities, all thanks to its adaptability. In a captivating visual spectacle, the headlights of the Cybertruck perform a symphony of light. As the vehicle sparks to life, an animated light bar sequence elegantly unfolds, awakening from the vehicle's core and extending gracefully to its edges. It's a stunning display against the dark canvas of the sky, a theatrical performance worthy of applause. This breathtaking sequence dances in harmony with the sleek frunk, an unprecedented feature that elevates the Cybertruck's allure. However, among these recent unveilings, a twist emerges. News unfolds that the Cybertruck's mirrors may not sport the familiar digital frames seen in previous prototypes. Instead, whispers through the grapevine suggest a potential deployment of physical mirrors. Yet this notion seems shrouded in disbelief. How would such mirrors serve their purpose when the tunnel is closed? It seems incongruous with the Cybertruck's futuristic essence. 
an alternative emerges, a touchscreen display linked to a rear camera, an option that flirts with possibility, yet the yearning persists for the retention or provision of digital mirrors, as they lend a contemporary touch to the Cybertruck, accentuating its modern charm. So why might we anticipate Cybertruck deliveries exceeding a mere 30 units? Over 25 Tesla Cybertrucks have been sighted at the automaker's Gigafactory in Texas, heralding the imminent delivery event scheduled for this weekend. Anticipation mounts as Tesla plans to hand over approximately 10 to 30 trucks on Thursday, although the exact number remains veiled in secrecy, adding to the enigma surrounding the Cybertruck. Back in 2017, during the Model 3 delivery event, Tesla delivered a relatively scant 30 units. Yet, unlike the Model 3, the Cybertruck, after four years of anticipation, could witness a larger fleet arriving. Delivering a limited number might dampen the expected frenzy during the event, making over 100 units an astute strategic move. Handling 100 units should impose a challenge, especially given the substantial presence of Cybertrucks at the Texas factory. A generous delivery could showcase an ample production capacity, potentially swaying investors to expand their stock rather than risking under-delivery. Even if Elon Musk decides to distribute only 30 units, those fortunate first recipients will bask in the early experience of the Cybertruck. Meanwhile, many others anxiously waiting for their orders remain uncertain about their delivery schedules. The Cybertruck's unveiling in Los Angeles four years ago marked the inception of Tesla's distinct advertising strategy. Strategy. This strategy has both fueled intense discussions within the automotive community and hiked its prices from an initial projection of $39,990 to $49,990 and $69,990. After four years, the countdown to the Cybertruck's revelation is nearing its climax. The speech delivered by Musk will determine whether this pickup truck becomes a transformative industry force or a colossal disappointment, hinging entirely on the pivotal aspects of its price and range. At $80,000 with a 400-mile range for the tri-motor configuration, it appears adequate. Musk's visionary emphasis on the Cybertruck's futuristic essence has been consistent. Its unconventional design, so radical that even Tesla skeptics questioned its feasibility, is poised to fade into reality as the first Cybertruck deliveries loom just hours away. Merely hours away from the delivery event, what price are you anticipating? And what are your thoughts on the recently disclosed 300 mile range for the dual motor Cybertruck. Your contributions are greatly valued. That's it for today. Thank you for tuning in and if you enjoyed it, please show your support by liking, subscribing to the channel, and also turning on notifications so you'll never miss out on any of our amazing videos. Once again, we appreciate your feedback and your time. We hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, take care and have fun.